Now the area's certified most accurate forecast. Your weather on the fives with meteorologist Chad Rafelisberger. We had dense fog to talk about on this Friday morning. Dense fog advisory in effect for a good chunk of the state. That runs until 10 o'clock this morning. Visibilities for many of us well below a half mile as we get ready for school and work. Right now, Storm Team 5 Skyview camera in Sturgeon Bay is showing the dense fog. Right now, you can barely see the bridge there, just a few hundred feet away. 61 at the moment up in Sturgeon Bay. And in Green Bay, much the same. Nothing but some dense fog at the moment. And this will uh, linger over the next several hours. A visibility down to near zero right now in Clintonville, as well as in Oshkosh, a point eight miles in Sheboygan, and near zero visibility up at Washington Island as well. So get ready for a slow early morning commute here on this Friday. And temperature wise, lower 60s, fairly common, some upper 50s at times across northeastern Wisconsin this morning, and those winds are fairly light. Winds for the rest of today will be fairly light, but then they'll start to pick up out of the south tomorrow. We'll get to that here in just a moment. Dry conditions across northeastern Wisconsin with some of that fog that could be a little drizzle or mist at times, uh, but no substantial rain across the area like we were dealing with 24 hours ago. There is more rain to our south and to the west, but for the most part, that activity does avoid us for today. However, on future casts later on this afternoon, it's still dry as we approach the noon hour, maybe a few breaks in the clouds at times. What sunshine we see today will give us a quick boost in those temperatures into the mid and upper 70s this afternoon. Notice into the afternoon, you see a couple little blips of green there on future cast, hinting at maybe a passing shower or two with some of those clouds that do develop later on today. Otherwise, dry conditions and pretty nice weather for the second half of your Friday with a little cloud cover across the area. And then later on tonight, things still looking fairly quiet, maybe a passing shower or two. But better rain chances arrive during the second half of the day on Saturday as some showers and storms begin to arrive from the west. And some of that rain tomorrow could be on the heavy side. In terms of winds, again, fairly light winds, generally out of the south to southeast as we head through the morning and afternoon on this Friday. But notice by tomorrow, early in the morning, winds 5 to 15 miles an hour. But look how they increase 15 to 25 miles an hour with some higher gusts through the afternoon hours on Saturday, and those winds will still be quite breezy into the day on Sunday. This is your forecast uh, for this Friday. Morning fog, which is quite dense across the area. Maybe, just maybe, a spotty shower for a few of us later on this afternoon. Highs away from the lake, mild and a little muggy in the upper 70s. And then for tonight, partly cloudy, a slight chance for a passing shower. Look for those low temperatures to fall back into the lower 60s. Your seven-day planner has a better rain chance for the second half of the day on Saturday, lingering into early Sunday morning. We should be dry by the time we hit the afternoon hours on Sunday with highs in the lower 70s. Dry, lots of sunshine for the first day of fall on Monday with a high near 70. And then another rain chance arrives by next Wednesday. You can always get the latest forecast updates on our Storm Team 5 weather app. That is free. Download it on the App Store and on Google Play. So if you consider Friday the start of the weekend, most of the weekend's pretty good. Two-thirds of it for the most part. I just yeah. almost made we a big mess over here. We have a little drawer out here. Oops, sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, I close that there so sorry. I don't hit it next time. But yes, yeah, Saturday will be the better chance for rain here over the next three days. All right, cool. Thanks, yeah. Chad. We'll be right back.